Come on. Angel. Come on. Up. Come on. Up. Up. Good girl. Lay down. Lay down. I know. It's okay. Lay down with me. Lay down. Sit. Sit. Lay down. It's okay. You're okay. Hi, guys. I'm back. Just came back from a walk with Mommy Angel. My baby. She's panting. Um, a lot of it is due to the walk, but uh, she was panting prior. <clears throat> prior to our walk, so I don't know. She's uh, definitely doesn't want to be alone in this room, <clears throat> although we have her completely stay, completely set up, comfort everywhere. She has a couch bed. She has a bed, cushy bed with a blanket on top of her couch bed. <laughs> she has bones. She has a private area over here to the side of the couch with a comforter um, over here and another dog bed and food and water over there. She's absolutely beautiful. The doctor estimated she was due two weeks or less with seven to ten puppies. This is her third litter. The sweetest baby girl. I, I, I My heart breaks for her, too. Truthfully, it breaks because I look at her and I know she had a really tough... She's very restless, Pauline. Very. But I don't know if it's because she doesn't want to be in this room alone, to be honest with you, because she doesn't. She barks, she stresses out. <clears throat> when I took her for a walk, she walked leisure beautifully. Um, she's drinking her water over there right now. Her belly's definitely getting bigger. I think it's less than two weeks as well. That's what the doctor stated. When they did the x-rays, he thought it was two weeks. So seven to ten puppies in there. Um, her third litter. The litter prior to this one, two, only two puppies survived. She was in a lot of distress, and she was in labor for like four days. So I can tell you right here and right now, this dog is not going to be in any distress. As soon as I see her starting to go into labor, if she's in any, I, I'm just going to take her to uh, the 24-hour hospital. And if she needs a C-section, whatever she needs, I don't want her to be stressed out. We go, Mama. You can go wherever you want. Oh, yeah? You want to come up here with me? She loves being close. She does. She, I'll just sit here with her, and she's she's rolled over on her back for me. Um, I've been rubbing her belly softly. Restless could mean labor. I know, I know, I know. Possibly, I don't know, I don't know. Possible. Let's just kind of monitor, watch. Yes, we just got her a couple days ago. A friend of mine, Judy, police officer, Miami, reached out to me asking if I could help um, with Mommy Angel. Apparently her mother, human mother, died of cancer. She was living in a very horrible, horrible property. Um, inside, outside, not spayed. Her son from a previous litter is all grown living there. Her daughter from another... Previous litter is there, not spayed, not neutered. Um, you know, just she had fleas. It was dirty. It, it's just disgusting, disgusting. So we, of course, went over um, and picked her up. <clears throat> the video's on our page. Um, so here we have her. And again, we took her in. We didn't, we didn't, we wanted to stop this reproduction for her, becoming pregnant and pregnant. When she's had such a tough time with her pregnancy. Mommy. Angel. With my girl. With my angel girl. Where is she? Get up here. Give me kisses. Get up here. Come on. Come on. Come on, mommy. Yeah. That's a girl. That's my girl. Yes. I'm flipping it around a little bit. Can you all oh, come here? Okay. Cover it a bit. Like she'll lay with me for a little bit. 
I rub her belly. She gives me kisses. I talk all high pitched to her. She gets all excited. And then she kind of just, you know, circles, uh, licking nipples, does a little sigh here and there. I know. So I don't know. I have my Nest cameras. I can monitor her tonight through the night like I do um, with all the dogs. Uh, so I don't know. You know, Shelly and Keith were here to sleep here last night watching all the dogs and her. And I'm here tonight. Carol's in the other room with Albert. Emma's sleeping. Mommy Godiva got her walk. I know. It's okay. You're okay. You're okay. Her teeth are so white, so, so white. And they said she was four years of age. I don't even, I don't even believe that. I'm sorry. Her, her teeth are white as can be. There's not one piece of tartar on her teeth. She's adorable. She's sweet as sugar. She was an emotional support dog, actually. Where's Gage? Gage is in his room with his mommy. I know. Her life is so much better, Mary. You're right. You're right. Um, yes, the doctor did a uh, x-ray and said they would do two weeks, maybe less. So, you know, it could happen any time. I know. I agree. How can you sit and watch? And he told us this on the video, that she was in labor for four days and they didn't take her to the vet. They didn't do anything. Two of the puppies survived, I think, out of seven or ten. Seven, I think. Um, and now she has seven to ten puppies again. And that is my biggest fear is to, you know, I, I can't have all these, have God forbid, stillborn puppies coming out. I just want to make sure that she's not in any distress um, and that the doctors are there to help her along and monitor her, whatever's needed, basically. And I have no problem with them doing a C-section on her if that's what's needed. You see, she's just kind of... She's on the bed, half bed, half bed. And she's just having a hard time getting comfortable. Mommy, you having a hard time getting comfortable? Mm hmm? Can I see your belly? Hold on, guys. Mommy, can I see your belly? Hi, pretty girl. I just turned the TV down. Um, just so I could do this video. Normally, I have the TV up and it's at a, uh, you know, calming level. Not too loud, but just some voices. Yeah, she just seems really, really uncomfortable to me. It's okay, Mommy. You're okay. You're okay. It's okay. Now, if I wasn't in this room as soon as I leave, she just sits at the door and cries and barks. She doesn't want to be alone. Doesn't want to be alone. So what we're going to do is we're just going to monitor and watch. Um, Tiffany will be in at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Someone's here all day from 8 to 8. And then, like I said, I'm back at 10. So, and, and we'll watch in between to make sure she's okay. So the, the, the only thing is if, if anything happens, she goes into labor from 12 o'clock tonight. Um, if I go home at 12 and go to bed at 1. So between 1 and 8, you've got 7 hours. So, I mean, I have to sleep sometime. But, um, you know, we're hoping that everything goes according to plan and she's comfortable and somebody's here. Um, there's a slim chance that she could go into labor and nobody's here. But it surely beats, this room surely beats her being in an, in an animal hospital, stressed out. She's already stressed out in a beautiful room with a TV and beds and bones and people around all day. So, yeah, well, Meredith, unfortunately... Um, that's not an option. I have my own animals at home and I have to take care of. So, you know, I can't live here. Um, I had, I thankfully we were very lucky to have Shelly and Keith um, here spending the night last night. We have a ton of volunteers. Anybody's welcome to spend the night here, but they do all have their own dogs and family and, and work. So, you know, it is what it is. We do the best that we can. Um, you know, we're just grateful that we have this beautiful rescue house for our dogs to be in beautiful comfort, to say the least. 
Um, it would be awesome to have her in a foster home. She It would be fantastic, but nobody has stepped up to offer her a foster home. So we are here, and we are. it is what it is. That's the bottom line. That's right, and it's certainly better than the streets with somebody who's going to let her suffer and labor. Um, and it's exactly, Vanessa, and it's certainly better than, God forbid, she could get hit by a car. She's running the streets at that house. It will all be okay, correct. Everything's going to be just fine. I'm not going to stress out about it. We've had many, many, many litters of puppies in this organization. Um, so, you know, uh, Meredith, the weekends, that's great. But during the week is, you know, tomorrow's Monday. So we've got Monday through Friday. Um, and we had the weekend covered. But um, tomorrow's Monday. So, like I said, nobody has offered to step up. And we don't have a foster. So we are doing the best that we can. If anybody has any suggestions that's better than what the situation is now, or if you know you can offer any assistance by fostering, be sure to reach out to us at 100plusabandondogs at gmail.com. I'm going to leave that alone because I'm getting aggravated. I, I feel that these dogs get everything and everything and above that they need, and um, she surely is loved and cared for. So let's all just... Uh, Make sure that we say a prayer for Mommy Angel that when she does go into labor that it's easy on her and her body. And we will make sure that she receives all the medical that she needs for sure. That I can promise you. Right, Mama? I know. Even your eyes look different tonight. Yeah, everything looks different. What? Are you tired? Do you just need sleepies? Huh? Let me see. Let me see the belly. Come here. Come here. Lay down. Lay down. Sit. Sit. That's my girl. That's my girl. All right, guys. I was just going to update you. It's late. I'm going to sign off. And um, we'll see you in the morning. Have a good night's sleep. This is Amy with Angel. Pregnant Angel. Updating 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.